Hi, today I will be walking you through the J. Ripon Clark Law Society website dashboard. As an area chapter or committee leader in a JRCLS, you have admin access to edit and customize your chapter page, send targeted emails within your chapter, create events, assign your leadership team roles and permissions, and audit your chapter membership list. In this video, I will cover how to access the dashboard, how to add a chapter description, banner, logo, social media, and photos, how to add your area or chapter leadership team and give them permissions, how to send targeted emails within your chapter, and how to view and edit your current member list. The first thing I'll be covering is how to access the dashboard as a chapter, area, or committee leader. First, log in to your account on jrcls.org. You should receive a dashboard icon at the top right hand of your screen. As an area chapter or committee leader, your admin dashboard will look similar to this. If you're an area chapter or committee chair who does not have access to a dashboard similar to this, please contact the website and communications manager to receive dashboard permissions. Within your chapter dashboard, you'll have the ability to add a chapter description, a banner, a logo, social media, and photos of your team. When you click on your dashboard, a page like this should appear. Here you can input an about section, a description of your chapter, add a location, specific cities, Here you can include the logo and the banner. Make sure your images align with the minimum image size so that the image comes out clear. Here you can include a featured video as well as all your social media accounts for your chapter. Once you've made the changes that you'd like, remember to click Save Chapter. To import photos of your team, drop files here. They will automatically populate on your chapter page. Once you've added all of your descriptions, logos, banners, and images, don't forget to import your team. To add members to your chapter team, search them by name or email here. Make sure to input their title. When you select members to add, you can edit their information. If you want the team member to display on the chapter and event pages, select the visible on chapter and event pages checkbox. Assign them permissions with the role function. Those with lead organizer positions permissions will have the same access as you to edit the page. Check-in staff do not have editing permissions. Once your team has been added, click Save and then Publish. Now that you've customized your chapter page and added your team members, I'm going to show you how to send targeted emails within your chapter. First, click Emails in your dashboard at the left side of the screen. Click New Email. Type in the desired from title. You may alter this depending on the nature and audience of your email. Use the audience drop down menu to filter who will receive your email. Select chapter members to send an email to all members who have joined your chapter. Or select event chapter teams to send a targeted email to only your chapter leadership team. If your email regards a specific event, the event will automatically attach to the email. You can detach an event from your email by clicking the X at the right-hand side. After you've input the message of your email, you have the option to preview the email, send a test email, 
save the email as a draft, or schedule and send. Access your dashboard, add chapter descriptions, banners, and photos, how to add your area and chapter leadership teams and give them permissions, and how to send targeted emails within your chapter. I'm going to show you how to view and edit your current member list. First, in the dashboard, click on Members. Search for a specific chapter member by name in the search bar. Remove individuals that you know are not members of your chapter by clicking on the three dots to the right of their name and clicking Delete Member. To add chapter members, please send a list of members you would like to add with their names and email addresses to our website and communications manager, who will add members manually for you with her HQ admin permissions. In this video, we've covered how to access the dashboard, how to add a chapter description, banner, logo, social media, and photos, how to add your area or chapter leadership team and give them permissions, how to send targeted emails within your chapter, and how to view and edit your current member list. With these tools, you'll be able to more consistently communicate with your chapter members, leadership team, and committee members. You will also be able to audit and update your chapter's membership lists, which will help the Law Society in fulfilling its global mission. If you have any questions about your dashboard, please reach out to the website and communications manager.